Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a very special video. This video is going to be about my perspective in life after college. I recently graduated a few months back and I just wanted to share with you guys my experience and my thoughts on what life looks like after college. And I just wanted to share this from the bottom of my heart. I know it's something that I have been struggling with in my own life. And it's something that has been difficult to adjust to. But I just wanted to share this with you guys. And I really hope that this video is of a blessing to you all. So, life after college can... A lot of people might think that it's something just so amazing. You graduated, you have a degree now, everybody's going to want to hire you. But in reality, that's not the case. In reality, life after college is very tough. It's very tough on yourself. And knowing if what you're doing with your life is, is even okay or it's something that it's in God's plan, I think it's something that is very challenging and it's something that I struggled so much because I was not content with what I had or what I had accomplished after graduating from college. So many people see college graduations as something um, of joy and excitement for what's to come, but I think in my perspective, I really saw it as something that was really giving me fear of what it was I was going to do. Originally, I had planned on going to med school or physical therapy school or physician assistant school and so I had a major in human biology. I went to University of California, San Diego and I took a lot of biology classes and the turnout after graduation wasn't as I expected. I didn't have the grades that I wanted to or the grades that were necessary in order to apply for med school or for physical therapy school. And it was something that was really intimidating for me and it really made me get into this depression of me feeling like a failure, feeling like all these four years had just gone to the trash because I was not continuing to school or I was not applying for grad school. And it was an area or a season in my life where I really, I really felt without purpose. I felt that I had no purpose. I just felt that I couldn't I didn't know what the next step was. So I really started to just pray to God and, and trying to find contentment in the season that I was at because I had to realize it was a huge accomplishment for me to be a low-income Latina minority that graduated from a four-year university. And I really had to find content in that. I had to find content in the season that God had now placed me in. In a season where God really just molds you. And he really just prepares you for what the next step is for you. And looking back, now looking back at that situation and everything that I went through. I started to reflect on how good God is. And how He his plans are just never never for for they're never for bad for us and i wanted to share something a verse that really just st stuck out to me i know that there are so many opinions out there but after you graduate there are so many people who tell you when are you going back to school or there's so many people who tell you what are you doing now and and what's next and it's such a pressure and such young people to to make the next move to do the correct move and i decided because of the circumstances of my grades and not having such a great turned out I went to look for a job and it was a little challenging and I am currently now working and honestly it's something that I'm still struggling with because I was just not content I knew I wanted to go back to school and I just felt like I failed everybody and I failed on myself for not continuing to go back to school but I know that God's understanding the understanding that he gives us of our life and the purpose that he has given us is something that brings us peace. And I wanted to read to you guys a part of the Bible, a verse that really stuck out to me during this season of my life. And I'm still working on it. I'm still working on being content with where I am at the moment. Not content and I'm going to stay here forever, but being happy and joyful in the purpose that God is doing in my life at this moment. Because I don't know where God's going to take me next. So I wanted to read for you guys Romans 8, 28, 
We know that God works all things together for good for the ones who love God, for those who are called according to his purpose. And at this moment when I read this, I knew that everything was going to work for my good, no matter if it seems so intimidating to right now just be a college graduate, trying to build experience, trying to see what my next move is going to be, and not feeling sad or not feeling depressed that my original plans or the original things that I thought I was going to find content in were are not being accomplished knowing that those things even if I didn't I'm not there yet it's okay because God works all things for good for those who love him for trust him and who are living for his purpose and I also wanted to read for you guys Philippians let me just find it. Philippians 4 and it's um, 4 7. It says, Then the peace of God that exceeds all understanding will keep your hearts and minds safe in Christ Jesus. And this is the moment where no longer is depression present in your life after graduating, after feeling all this pressure from everybody telling you what you need to do, what you can't do and not do. God's peace is all that you need in order for you to continue on in the journey that he has for you. And there's no certain definition that will define if you are being successful or defined if you were successful as a college graduate or if those four years even matter at all there's no definition at all there's nothing that can define your success because it is only God's understanding and God's peace and God's purpose in your life that really really determines whether you are successful or not if you're living God's plans for you if you're living his purpose for you then you have been successful and that's something that I really struggled to understand and again it's something that I'm still learning I'm still grasping on and praying for over my life that I can find content that I can find joy and peace and that God's peace will just surpass any any understanding that God's peace will be with me, knowing that the purpose that he has for me is far more than what I think of myself. And honestly, guys, I just encourage you, whether you're about to graduate college, or you're in college, or you just graduated college, or you're going to go into college, do not let the world define what your success is. Do not let the world define what is the next step that you need to make, but let God define what is the next step you need to take in order to fulfill his purpose for your life. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. God bless you.